This is the ultimate DevOps course for beginners. We go back to basics. It has clear guidance on where to start. We start with a course introduction. We talk about what DevOps is, and we drop into chapter one, which is all about Git and source control. In any software engineering field, you're gonna be learning to work with code, scripts, files, and config. We learn Git, source control, IDEs, to work with code. Eventually, we take a look at hosted Git source control, like GitHub, Bitbucket, and GitLab. As soon as you understand how to work with code and scripts and files, we move on to operating systems. We hop into operating systems, what it is, servers and virtualization. This is important fundamental for even the cloud. The whole cloud is built on virtualization and Linux. We learn how to navigate Linux and we build our confidence in the command line and start to automate things with bash scripts. In this course, you'll actually create your own virtual server and learn all of these things along the way. Then from chapter two, we'll hop into chapter three, which is all about Linux monitoring. What is monitoring and how do you monitor with the command line without any fancy UI open source tools. We take a look at command line, CPU monitoring, memory monitoring, disk and network monitoring. So you'll have all the essentials to monitor a server using only the terminal and understand how Linux stores its metrics. Once we can monitor our Linux server, we'll convert our server into a web server and learn about the world of web and HTTP. This is the fundamental of e-commerce. Everything runs in the web. We'll learn about the world of web. We'll learn about HTTP basics, request responses, client server architecture, what is the difference between a website and a web API, we'll build our own, we'll create our own web server, learn how to configure it, host our own website, learn how to troubleshoot HTTP, what is DNS and domains, and how to get TLS and SSL working. From there we'll dive into CICD pipelines, learn about CICD and automation. What is CICD? What is automation? what is continuous integration and continuous deployments, and we set up a CICD pipeline to our newly created website portfolio. Once we have CICD implemented, we'll take a look at infrastructure as code. This will lead us to things like Terraform and Cloud Init. This course is currently being built in early access. As you can see, there's a lot more content and a lot more gaps. As there are more chapters to come, let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see as part of this course.